Hello guys, uh, today we're gonna take how to add the numbers of an array, the elements. And I don't want to do it this way, I want to declare, let's say, uh, list, uh, word, let's say also, and size 5, dub, and initialize it all elements to zero so now i need to input elements and here let's say uh, i'm inputting values into array uh, array and we're going to do that using a loop and let's say I'm gonna initialize my loop to what? ECX move ECX and 5 and then what do I need to do? Move EAX 0 and I need to move to EDI offset of list. Now, what I'm gonna do is let's say input loop, let's name it, and we're gonna do call read integer and whatever I get into I want to move it from AX to what? to list or EDI we can use what? D reference EDI and then what do we do increment edi we can do increment increment is only adding one so i'll add uh, edi two so i'm reading an integer call read integer uh, we can do a string and print uh, something and then we call that we uh, input an integer we move that integer from ax because remember call read integer is going to put whatever the user inputs on the keyboard in AX then we move whatever is in, e, in AX to uh, dereferencing I'm dereferencing whatever address I have here in EDI what do, what do I have the address of list so it's going to put it in list 0 then I'm adding EDI by 2 so it can go to the next element that's because it's a word if I had it as a byte, I'll do what? Add or increment 1. And now here I'll do input loop input. And remember what does loop do? Loops uh, decrements cx and checks if c x is greater than zero continue keeps looping now after i enter uh, input those integers let's say i'm doing the sum of those integers sum loop let's name it and what I want to do is now we need to move again or we can do it from inverse and subtract to but I want to do EDI and offset of uh, list so now I need to get the first element and I need to move it to where 
to ax so i say move ax we can uh, be careful here we, you can go one loop less why because i already have the last element in ax but i don't want to do that i'm going to do move it here i'm going to say move e ax equal uh ax equals zero i want to say and then move ecx as five i'm going to loop again the same time move uh, to ax i'm going to move uh, whatever's in edi then i'll do at ax I don't need to move it I can just add it and then add EDI by 2 because it's a word and some loop and here I can say move whatever is in E in AX or I can say call right integer if you were gonna use the value on something else I prefer saving it in some or something that would be much Cut it in chain line feed. So let's see if this works. It will be awesome if it runs without any errors. No, some loop. That was the only error that I had. Come on. Loop to some loop. missing operation in expression line 22 what do we have missing move to EDI I miss spelling Look, those are not even considered Come on, compiler, you should have took that one. I'm kidding, guys, it shouldn't take it. That's the way how compilers work. And believe me, you don't want to know. Just trust me on that. I hear it's asking. I remember I can print a message saying, and put a number here's two here's three here's four I'm just inputting those in the array and if I put six here it's gonna be 15 it's gonna be should print 20 as a result and here we go 20 was my result adding so go back to the code here I'm inputting the elements into the array and here I'm uh, adding and then at the end I'm printing whatever is in AX I'm adding to AX remember it's really important to know that and I'm using a word so that's why I use the AX if I'm using a double word or quad word or four bytes I'll do what uh, EAX if I'm using uh, one byte I'll use AL AL just by itself you can use a to also but that's good no problem with that sorry about that and see you next lecture